Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Virgo. How are you guys this week? Hope you're well. See what's happening. So this week I am doing your reading in two parts. Your love life, whether it be friends, family, or a love interest. And the second part, there will be a time stamp for your finance and career. So I'm giving this a, a try, see how it goes. Virgo. Overall energy surrounding you in your love life. Clarity, please, for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo. Clarity for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about their love life? Oops, that one wants to come out. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of juggling, making a decision, weighing the pros and the cons. Yeah, there's, I feel as though this is yourself or someone else here. Someone's unable to make a decision. They're struggling with a decision. They can't see a way forward. Uh, and I feel there's something here someone isn't seeing. And that could be the problem. We'll see here. Yeah, so someone's trying to make a decision about reaching out, communicating. Uh, this is an energy of one foot in the door, one foot out, being unsure. This one also wants to come out. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be yourself, could be another person. This is somebody who kind of knows what they want. Somebody who stands in their power. And this could be yourself too, focusing on career, finances, and things like that. Something creative. You may be juggling a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities. Uh, but this is a love reading. And I see some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Someone who wants to communicate, but they're having a hard time making a decision. Maybe because someone was juggling, or maybe, you know, this could be to do with work. Someone may be very busy and uh, unable to make a decision, not seeing a way forward. But that is an, an energy of being unable to choose. Wow. Virgo, there we go, yeah, so there is definitely an energy of possible rejection or somebody feels they missed an opportunity because they were unable to make a decision. Uh, this is also an energy of being drained, maybe even bored. Yeah, there's definitely this manifesting energy. I see Gemini, this is also your energy, Virgo, this is Mercury energy. Get these cards laid out, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Clarity for Virgo regarding their love life. What does Virgo need to know? There we are. Yeah, so there's someone here who was very focused on the negative, not the positive. Uh, we have two people here. You can see these glasses. Somebody was focused on something else. And uh, there is some remorse, regret, maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of a pity party maybe but there is an energy of learning something so someone's learning something i feel there's this someone was focused on the negative they weren't focused on the positive to do with the connection someone wasn't noticing that connection so there's this energy of moving someone's moved on maybe to avoid a disaster but it's also an incoming there's something about this movement something being learned it's about growing closer someone is trying to make a decision here I feel. I feel as though you're definitely, yeah, there's something ending for something to transform. So I feel like you could be manifesting something here, but you feel like maybe there's no hope. But when the magician appears, that's an energy of having all the tools, maybe all the information. Uh, maybe somebody is worried about being rejected or feels they missed an opportunity. Um, like I said, this could be you or another person. It really doesn't matter. It's more about that energy. So this is about the somebody who knows what they want, uh, someone who stands up for themselves, very much focused. So I feel as though someone's kind of changing their focus. Uh, there's an energy of this manifesting, putting an end to a situation. Someone's not sure, okay? I feel like there's a little bit of concern about rejection or something not, an offer being made that's not good enough. So this is the manifesting energy, manifesting with all the tools. And I feel there's an energy of yourself or somebody trying to learn something to move forward. It could be making peace to put an end to a situation to transform it. I see a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio here. Maybe somebody in your life who's kind of turned their back, focusing on themselves because they're, this could be someone who's just cha trying to change their focus as well, trying not to focus on it. And I, but I, you know, this energy here of being drained, rejection, missing an opportunity, that's in the heart. This is 
uh, something here that's not good enough. Maybe there was an offer made, you stood up to somebody or you just weren't focused on them. Uh, maybe just trying to focus on your career, but it could be another person. I'm going to just leave it there and go over this again. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Why is this here? Two of Pentacles for Virgo. Oops. What have we got here? It flipped right over Virgo. Two of Pentacles. Why is this here for Virgo? There we go. Yeah, so there is an energy of kind of holding back, clearing out negative energy thoughts, weighing the pros and the cons in the process about starting something. Yeah, someone's healing, releasing something, and I feel it's to do with this negative energy, letting things go clearing out the head, taking a break. Some of you have been juggling, you're thinking about taking a break, but you kind of may, looks like you may not see a way forward. But I feel here there's this new beginning. Something's becoming clear. So this is a good idea, I feel. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, it looks like someone's about to make a decision. Uh, it's about reaching out, communicating, moving forward, but someone has one foot in the door and out because they're a little bit cautious. Okay, because of this indecision, Tell me about this. Yeah, the King of Cups is someone who's sometimes cautious about reaching out. Yeah, we have justice here. So yeah, somebody wants to, someone here is trying to clear their head. They're kind of holding back thinking, kind of taking a little bit of a break. So there may have been a pause between you and someone. I see some Libra, some a Leo energy. This could be a Leo. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's trying to figure out how to do something right, okay? They want to take this action to communicate, to move forward, but it has to do with balance, balancing head over heart, uh, doing the right thing, making something right. So feel like you have somebody coming towards you that wants to come in the right way in a balanced manner, someone who's kind of pulling back, looking at things differently, trying to find that emotional balance to do something the right way. Some of you may have someone who's right for you and not right for you, and you may be unable to make a decision. This could be a past energy because there may have been some kind of a break, some kind of pause uh, to gain some kind of clarity here. Yeah, someone's becoming clear. They want to start something. So they, you may have somebody coming back towards you. You may be kind of in your power. Some of you are juggling. You're working. You're focused on creative pursuits, uh, focusing on yourself. I do see as somebody being kind of tired, needing some kind of a break, being a little bit drained, juggling work, juggling love life. Somebody here is trying to figure out if they can juggle their work, their love life, right, to balance something out here. Here we go, yeah. So there is an energy that could be yourself kind of focusing on your money, your career, your finances. All right, you may be wanting to communicate someone, but you may be having a, a, a difficult decision uh, juggling back and forth between work. But there is this energy of the sun, this new beginning. And I feel that someone is looking at all the details of a situation, thinking about communicating. It could be you, or you have this person who has Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. Yeah, so someone's thinking about investing, not sure, maybe waiting for the right time. And yeah, someone was more invested in their money, and that's what I feel. Someone was focused on something else. So I feel someone's changed their focus. Okay, focusing on career and finances, you know, just sort of there's some kind of offer, something that happened that's not good enough. Yeah, there's that confirmation. Yeah, someone's not so sure here. It's also an energy of being kind of bored, you know, uh, emotionally drained, uh, not so sure they should accept something. Maybe uh, you or this person is afraid to reach out. There's a, you know, this is someone who plans something. They take their time to plan. They want to make sure that investment pays off before they reach out because they don't want to be rejected. So there's someone's gathering info. They're manifesting uh, the information they need so that they come in and they're not rejected. Okay, like I say, it could be yourself, could be this other person. See what this magician energy is all about here. Yeah, so we have, yeah, there's definitely somebody holding that wand with that passion, manifesting this passion at new beginning. So I feel like there's some kind of a transition uh, where somebody is 
uh, gathering info, learning something about a situation. It could be just learning something about another person before you reach out or they reach out to you, okay, to offer up this cup of love, this emotion. But there is that caution. It all has to do, I do feel like it has something to do with work, balancing the two. But I also feel there could be a choice between two people. Somebody was indecisive, trying to make a decision between two and unable to do so for whatever reason. Wow. Yeah, it could be just to do um, personality types, um, needing to gain some clarity before they start something. It's pulling back, seeing things differently. Uh, maybe wanting to make things right. Somebody may be thinking of making things right. I see Sat. There's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Mostly it feels like Sag and Leo, but I do see Scorpio. Tell me more about this Ace of Rods. Yeah, that's manifesting that passion new beginning. Yeah, someone's gaining some insight, some clarity, wanting to communicate. So you may have a choice between two people or there's two people who want to reach out. But there's someone here who's very much up in their feelings about doing things right, the right way, trying to pick the right person, making the right decision and unable to do so. But I feel someone is sort of pulling back and seeing a situation or a person differently, maybe than they did before. Yeah, there's that energy confirmation about reaching out so this is coming in in a balanced manner doing things the right way investing making sure that investment pays off this is someone who's planning for success beautiful energy so we have this knight of swords someone who's shining a light on a situation gathering information learning something uh, to come forward so this is two people coming together getting to know each other but it's also an energy where it's moving away from one person and moving towards somebody who is a better fit someone who's just right so that's an interesting energy i see some strong libra uh, definitely and some gemini energy Tell me about the five. Oh, God, there we go. Yeah, so there's this indecision. Someone can't see a way forward. They're having a little bit of a pity party. Or this is someone who wasn't seeing what they had right in front of them. All right, that two of cups, that connection. They were too busy focused on something else. Their work, maybe another person. Uh, someone's, you know, there's that information coming in, that communication, making peace, learning something. But there's something here that somebody wasn't seeing. Maybe they moved away and ended a situation trying to thinking of avoiding a disaster but it's also moving forward positive energy either making peace communicating it's taking the time to get to know someone allowing things to transform so i feel it's yourself or someone here who's going through this indecision about starting something kind of holding back thinking it's about releasing negative energy negative thoughts uh, making this decision it is a little bit of a challenge a struggle someone might have been juggling two people unable to make a choice unable to make a decision but it looks like someone's about to make a decision here to move forward yeah so there is some emotional fulfillment moving towards something happier opening up emotionally to start something so this is something happy may be happening someone may be reaching out or maybe you're thinking about it yeah we have this yeah so there there you are <laughs> trusting your intuition this could be you uh, could be somebody else i see the queen of pentacles someone who's focused on the future trusting their information intuition about transforming someone is uh definitely focused on money it almost feels like both of you uh, maybe that's your person that you're thinking of i see some pisces energy someone very intuitive who is Someone's holding back here, letting things just transform, and they're focusing on their finances, career, something creative. Someone's very much in their power. So that's interesting. Yeah, there's an energy of walking away, but this is also moving towards a Ten of Cups. Someone's holding back here. Okay, so this is yourself, I feel. You're looking into the future, making plans, looking at all the details. You're trusting your intuition to guide you. And this is an energy, if it feels good, go for it. If it doesn't feel right, walk away. But it's also that moving forward where somebody's looking for their Two of Cups. Somebody wasn't seeing something they had right in front of them. Uh, to do with this emotional fulfillment somebody wasn't opening up is what i feel so someone moved away there was a lack of something here a lack of clarity and decision someone had the blindfold on they weren't seeing something so we have this queen yeah look at that there's somebody's being very wise okay uh, speaking their truth uh, walking away because something wasn't good enough there's this energy of kind of being bored um maybe 
you and another person rejected each other or you're both feeling stuck there's a very stuck energy here but i feel it's about to start moving there's a need for truth and clarity uh, you may be wanting to know what someone's intentions are if they're keeping secrets hiding things or you don't feel right about something you don't see a future with them okay there needs to be this transformation to have this new beginning interesting it almost feels like something's coming full circle but i don't see the world or the wheel of fortune yeah there's a need for truth and clarity someone's being very wise uh, making a decision you know trusting their intuition uh, it's about intentions clarity uh, the whole truth nothing but the truth Tell me about the Queen of Swords. There we are, yeah. So there's someone here that's definitely uh, taking their power back. It looks like it could be yourself. Uh, you may be focused on moving away from somebody, uh, using all the power you have. Uh, this is a head over heart decision. There's someone here who's very much in control of their emotions, using all the power they have to move away from a situation because there is no future, because there's secrets possibly but you see that i see that energy of moving towards it where is that two of cups somebody's not sure where is that that connection that partner there is a need for truth here so someone's having that push pull i feel like there's a bit of a power struggle here uh, between two people this is using the power you have to control your emotions staying very balanced making a solid decision the truth and nothing but the truth uh, but you know this is about gaining that power getting these two horses going in the same direction because right now they're going in two different directions so there's a need for truths interesting virgo tell me about this four of cups why is this here what happened here with the four of cups yeah so someone was holding back they were offering one cup and nothing more so someone yeah this is that nine of cups it's a be careful what you wish for someone didn't get what they wanted it wasn't good enough so yeah there's this energy of manifesting yeah so we have an empress energy taurus libra energy this could be yourself or another person somebody is in definitely in their power this is uh that queen of wands someone who has a lot of abundance somebody who's focused on creativity the birth of something new someone may be moving away starting something new uh, this is someone who definitely wants to be uh, valued but yeah see someone feels there's no hope in the situation so yeah someone wasn't focused on someone they may have been focused on other people maybe their work their finances there was a lack of cooperation and compromise so yeah there's that two of cups someone's looking for that two of cups that partner that kinship that you know that soulmate connection someone was focused on the negative energy not the positive energy uh, to do with a person whether it be you or this other person this is about cooperation teamwork compatibility two people coming together to build each other up not tear each other down so that looks like what's happened there's been rejections uh stuck energy stubborn energy uh, things not being good enough so there's an energy of focusing on the future looking not seeing a future with someone and walking away speaking their truth because there's a need for truth and clarity so it's a power struggle here a little bit of a power struggle and this is that energy right there of uh, somebody who is making plans this is someone who's kind of slow taking their time uh, but it's looking at the details uh, planning something planning to have success one foot in front of the other slow and steady wins the race so we have a power struggle it has to do with the speed of things uh, how fast somebody got someone here who moves a little faster someone who's a little slower but someone's lost control of a situation i feel because uh, they were moving too slow and i feel someone's gotten bored and they're starting to look at uh, into the future for something else something better trusting their intuition that someone has walked away uh, seeing the truth being wise okay to use the power they have to move in another direction yeah someone may have been juggling someone i feel like it's coming full circle there we are i felt that energy someone's making a decision and uh, they're tossing ideas back and forth someone may have been juggling because they're moving very slow uh, so that could be you may not see a future with someone because you feel like they're juggling they're not focused on you uh, so you're thinking of moving on but it could be the other person as well take it as it resonates for you virgo tell me about the two of swords and then we're going to 
finish this off, then there will be a time stamp for finance and career. Yeah, we have someone here has very strong boundaries, an emperor. This is an energy of someone who wants what they want. This could be you, it could be the other person. That's that Mars energy, that fighting spirit, uh, where someone knows what they want. Very strong boundaries, unable to see a way forward, because there's someone here who is focused on the negative, not the positive. So there's a need to get this under control. Someone is thinking here... Um, of, yeah, so there is an energy of someone thinking about reaching out, offering this pentacle, uh, this seed. This is something planted here. Uh, but there needs to be that emotional offer. And that's what I feel is missing. And that's why I feel as you come back around to the top, the second layer of this reading, someone is unable to make a decision about reaching out. Okay, they're making a choice. But it has to do with balancing things, looking at things differently, pulling back. It, it's more than likely a choice between two okay where somebody is unable to decide between two people but it's saying to take a pause take a break clear out the negative thoughts and energy before you have a new beginning someone is trying to make a decision here uh, whether they should turn their back just focus on their money and um, you know focus on something else another person another situation so definitely a power struggle it could be someone you know yourself fighting with yourself or it could be between you and another person so let's see what the outcome is here. It looks like someone's about to make a decision, but they want to make sure they have success. Someone's planning something with the information. This manifesting is this information. It's taking things learned and moving forward. Uh, it's right here too, confirmation. Yeah, moving away from one person to move towards another. Uh, someone's definitely either giving a an offer or receiving an offer but there are some boundaries here and it has to do with that truth All right Virgo what is the outcome here yeah so this is about deserving so being conscious uh, knowing you deserve more deserve better okay so there's a decision here being made it's a six it's movement this is a you know somebody single too someone may be trying to make a decision maybe you're trying to find out if someone's single or they're trying to find out if you are before they come in and make an offer they may have felt that you've moved on you're focused on something else so there is something here that you may need to be caught conscious about it's about deserving knowing your worth knowing your value someone deserves more they deserve better so yeah so this is about being open all right there's that conscious energy someone needs to be conscious there's abundance flowing here there's someone here who uh, is very open to something they have a lot of abundance flowing towards them this is that empress energy someone who has a lot to offer someone who has everything that they need but they are you know like i feel like someone's just focused on themselves here uh, because there was some kind of rejection someone's just focused on their money uh, their home things like that all the things that bring that abundance but this is about being open uh, to allow that abundance to flow you can't have abundance if you aren't open to it uh, so there is definitely some positive energy here some joyous fun someone's trying to figure something out here how to be more open uh, somebody may be uh, trying to decide if they want to stay single or not, if they should move forward with a connection, or whether they should uh, just sort of focus on finance or career and see what plays out. And there's a need for some kind of truth here. Someone's being very wise, trusting their intuition. Someone may have been keeping secrets. Maybe there was some juggling. Yeah, we have this energy. It's a reconciliation energy, but it's about family. It's about somebody, two people missing each other. But it's also, this is where two people come together, okay? It's possibly the situation where it has to do with blended families. It's Six of Cups energy. This is about... Uh, reflecting on the past, making a decision to do with the past, being conscious of something, knowing that you deserve more, okay, deserve better. So, yeah, so if you aren't getting what you want, I feel like you're going to, you know, your intuition's telling you to cut somebody out and move forward. Yeah, there is some energy of two of a blended family for some of you. There is an energy of uh, reminiscing. 
Um, somebody may be crushing on a new person moving forward, making that decision to just look at things in a more positive light. That's what I feel it really is. It's being conscious of that, being open, uh, open to receive, because if you're not open to receive, you're not going to get what you want. So you were the other person. I feel there's a decision and I feel it has to do with um, some reminiscing memories uh, memories of the good times. Someone's trying to figure something out here. And I feel like it has to do with staying single or blending of two families, definitely for some, but not all of you. So I'm going to pause this. There will be a timestamp, and I'm going to move into your finance and uh, work reading. Oh, welcome back, Virgo. Let's see what's happening with your career finance, your work situation. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? Clarity for Virgo regarding work, career, finances for Virgo. Clear messages and guidance for Virgo regarding their finance, career, your job. Oops, there we go. Oh, some of you have everything you need. <laughs> some of you are enjoying the fruits of your labors here. So I feel as though you're making some kind of plans for the future. Some of these things you're keeping to yourself. Some of you may be spending a lot of time alone planning, all right, thinking about your future. But you have everything that you need here with this energy, all right, kind of keeping things to yourself. Interesting. Making plans. There you go, Virgo, that's you. Nine of Pentacles, there we go. Yeah, so yeah, some of you are planning for the future. You're preparing yourself uh, in case you don't have enough money. And I feel like you have everything you need, but you probably feel like you don't. So you're always looking into the future, making plans. So you may be having a little bit of worry about money, but I feel like it's okay. It's saying you have everything you need. You'll be just fine, okay? But you may be a little bit worried that you don't, you won't. Yeah, there's that initiate of pentacles. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, so this is about planning, looking at the details here, taking your time, uh, planning for success. You're planning ahead to make sure that you never don't have enough, okay? You don't want to be left out in the cold. So you're. I, this is excellent energy. It just, it's telling you you've got what you need, uh, but you're continually planning. Planning for a rainy day is what I feel. So we have the Elder of Chalices. So this is somebody, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's an energy of offering something. So you may have somebody who's coming towards you. I feel as though you're planning something here. Now the Elder of Chalices, you can see here it's an older, mature person. Uh, somebody who's emotionally mature. Um, making some kind of offer. Now, this is something that's being created here, I feel, because this is work and finances. There's a choice, a decision. You may have a choice between a few people. Maybe you don't have enough employees. You're planning something. Um, you may Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money or things aren't good enough. You may have a couple employees if you're a business owner or you may be somebody, maybe you're making an offer to someone here. Maybe there's something happening where you feel like it's not good enough, it's not enough, enough money. Uh, there's a choice, there's a crossroads, a decision here. Wow, yeah. So there is something, you may be creating something new, somebody may be reaching out. This is someone who's very nurturing. Uh, the 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 Elder of Chalices, this is sort of like a Queen of Chalices energy. It's somebody who uh, is mature, somebody who wants to make some kind of an offer. There's a crossroad. You may have someone who's thinking of approaching you, or this could be you approaching someone uh, to do with this. Okay, so if you're a business owner or if you were an employee, it's going to read different. Or if you're looking for work, you may be looking for work. Uh, I feel like you don't have a lot to worry about, but I feel there's this decision. Somebody wants to approach you. I feel they want to talk to you about something they want to create, something new. They're very passionate about this, but it's about the approach, or you may have a choice, okay? You may be making some choices about starting something new, someone or someone's reaching out to you. This is someone who's got that loving, nurturing kind of energy. Uh, this is, I always see this, the Queen of Cups is someone who likes to nurture, likes to take care of people. This is someone who is uh, reaching out possibly to you, or this is yourself. You have an idea, maybe you're trying to approach somebody about creating something with this passion. It's passionate, uh, creative energy. It's a new idea, the birth of something new, basically. Yeah, interesting, Virgo. Virgo. There we go. 
Yeah, so there is, yeah, you may be making a decision, you may have a choice, you may move away to avoid a disaster, <laughs> okay, yeah, there's something here, so you're, there's something that you're going to learn first, too, is knowing when to move away to avoid a disaster, so yeah, I feel there's some kindness and compassion, maybe someone's approaching you or approaching them, maybe you have some kind of an idea, or they do, but I see this energy of movement, taking what you learned and moving away to avoid a disaster, yeah. Yeah, moving on, moving on to something better. So some of you may have started something. Maybe it's not right. It's not, you're not sure it's going to take you where you want to go. So you may end it and move on. So that's knowing when to move away, right? Not to put too much time or energy into something. Moving into calmer waters. Yeah, so there's that energy, yeah, uh, the wheel. So ending a cycle, starting something new. This, yeah, this is moving forward, taking what you learn. So I feel as though there may be a situation here where something isn't bringing in enough money. It's not working quite right. So you're at this crossroad to make this decision about starting something or moving away uh, to end a cycle. You want things to go in your favor, so you're going to take what you learn with you, okay? So there could be a situation where someone approaches you. Maybe they want to start something with you, okay? Or you have a choice, two, two ways to go. But I feel there's a cycle ending, something new. You want things to go in your favor, so take the things that you're learning with you. So we have the death, yeah. So there's something ending. Some of you are going to end a situation. Something may not be transforming the way you like. You're trying to figure out how to do it when it comes to work and finances. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of work. So some of you are ending, maybe, some of you may be ending one job, moving towards another. Uh, you're sort of looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. You want to make sure you're prepared for the future. Uh, you may have an offer, you, uh, but it, this definitely could be yourself eh, initiating something. Uh, or somebody else could be another Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and then there's that Cancer Pisces Scorpio so there's a choice now this is definitely a decision yeah we have that Empress energy this is somebody here who has a lot of abundance they have a lot to offer uh, but they want to be held in high value this is somebody maybe highly sought after you may have a choice between two people but it's all about this creativity this passion you know uh, if you're trying to create something new or you have someone who's approaching you and they want you to create something for them maybe it's a birth of something new a new idea okay so knowing when to move away all right if it's not going to go in your favor put an end to it move towards something that will work so some of you are ending one job moving towards another as well because you may have a new idea something that's going to work better it's going to uh, go in your favor it's going to bring you know it's enjoying the fruits of your labors that's your plan this is what you're seeing in the future but you're preparing for the future you're making decisions so you're you're not really going to do anything too risky you're not going to take a, a risk on something you're going to look at the things you've learned in the past uh, to do with work career things that you're creating and you're going to look at those first before you take a leap okay so that's basically what it is it's learning what you need to know so things go in your favor uh, taking that energy from something from the past you may have like i say if you're a, uh, an employer or you're looking for a job uh, you definitely, this is an energy of planning for the future, enjoying the fruits of your labors, all right? This is an energy of making sure you're getting paid what you're worth, okay? That's that energy there, making sure there's that empress energy. Yeah, there's a lot to offer here. There's a, somebody is coming up with some kind of idea, making a decision, uh, or you have to make a decision. Interesting energy, Virgo. Let's see where you're at, the nine of pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, so there is a little indecision. You certainly don't want to repeat mistakes of the past. You may be up in your head, a uh, little bit indecisive about something that's going to pay off, but you're becoming more decisive. You're not repeating mistakes of the past. You're leaving something behind, taking the things that you're learning and moving forward. And I do feel it'll go in your favor, but something has to end first. So you're having to make a choice. It's this crossroads. Yeah, something may not be bringing you enough money. You may be putting too much work into it. You may be thinking of something new. Someone may approach you about it as well, okay? It all depends on your situation. Yeah, this is about doing the right thing, finding balance. Interesting. Yeah, making sure things are right, just, fair. 
Libra energy. This could be yourself or you could have someone who's coming towards you. You may not be sure about somebody here. You may be up in your head. You don't want to repeat mistakes of the past. You may have somebody who wants to come towards you, uh, wanting to approach you to start something, and you may not be too sure about it little indecision but there's a need for clarity yeah there may be some trust issues you may have someone you're not trusting it's also about moving away from negative energy again taking what you learned leaving the things that don't work behind okay so, so you might be a little worried a little stressed uh, maybe you're um, not so sure you're trusting your decisions right now because you're in the in your head you may be focusing on negative so it's telling you to leave the negative stuff behind uh, start, start thinking more positive. I, I see that balance, doing things right. I feel like you're trying to make a decision. You're trying to do what's right for you. So tell me about this initiate of pentacles. Yeah, so there is definitely something to do with community um, offers. There may be something going on here. This is, you know, the cup of... It's, it's an event. It's definitely, yeah, you've got this, this could be yourself reaching out to the community, trying to find the right person. Maybe you're looking for employees or you're out there putting out resumes. You want the right job. You want something that is going to pay off. It's like you don't want to put a lot of work in or you don't want to give, it's like you're, you're really looking out for yourself. You don't want to give more than you're going to receive is what I feel. So you may have a choice maybe even between two jobs. Um, wow. So this is a community card, that Three of Cups, reaching out. People from the community may be reaching out. You may be trying to make a decision who's right, who's not right. Uh, it could be to do with something you're creating. Tell me about the Empress energy. and Some Taurus and Libra energy. Yeah, there's definitely something you're maybe thinking about in the past, reminiscing. So this, no, this is interesting because it's this is somebody who's very sweet. There may be somebody who's very sweet making you an offer. Okay, you may have a choice between this person and some other people, maybe three. Maybe you've got a lot of people coming towards you. Like I say, it's you or it's these it's people. There's definitely something to do with community. There's somebody here who's very sweet. Uh, some of you might be thinking of a job in the past going back to another position as well. You're at this crossroads. You're ready for this passionate beginning. You're very passionate about this, but it's very creative energy. Yeah, so some of you are holding back, feeling stuck, trying to hold on to your money. You're trying to make the right decision. So yeah, there you are kind of soul searching. You're on a path here. You're looking for clarity about whether you should hold back on a decision to do with money. You want the right thing. You want balance. You want to make sure you're treated fair or you're trying to make a fair decision. You want to do the right thing. <laughs> Yeah, so there's definitely something ending. So some of you are going to end something. Uh, maybe that you were creating or starting your thing to hold back. Maybe it's not, you know, giving you what you want because you're looking to the future. You're always making plans. That's Virgo, right? This is a journey, looking for that clarity, maybe spending a little bit of time alone, focusing on something that, because uh, you're holding on to your money. You're saving for something, but something is ending for something to transform. So it's like you're going to end one situation, to do with work or something you're creating and move towards something better and i feel like that's what's gonna you want things to go in your favor you're planning something here uh, you're just kind of holding back right now feeling a little stuck uh, there's a lack of cooperation and compromise somewhere here too maybe you work somewhere and there's gossip things going on uh, you're feeling a little stuck not sure what to do uh, i see there yeah so you have a choice between two leaving something in the past all right making a decision uh, you may, you know, this is also an energy of leaving friends out of it. If you're starting a business, you may have uh, friends, people in your community reaching out. You may not be so sure you trust the decision, but I feel like you're kind of, you're starting to become more dis decisive, like making a decision moving forward. Um, but I feel like you're not trusting your decisions right now. So it's saying to pull back and look at the details, spend a little bit of time alone before you end something. Uh, and start something new so i feel as though if you have friends reaching out if you're trying to create something and they want to partake uh, i feel like you need to be a little bit careful so moving away from one person towards another you may have friends reaching out okay maybe offering you something uh, they want you to maybe create it 
Yeah, there's that push-pull. Yeah, see, there's some kind of a power struggle going on here. Um, could be in the workplace. Maybe you're thinking of leaving a job, ending it, moving towards something better. There could be some kind of conflict, trust issues in the workplace, people playing mind games for some of you. Yeah, some of you might be going back to another job or another position where things were better. You may be reminiscing, but this is also about traveling into the past, right? A little journey, uh, just sort of holding back, taking a pause. Some of you are saving for something too, something you're going to create. So you may be thinking of ending, some of you may be ending a job and going out on your own, okay? You may be thinking of bringing some friends with you, um, people working together. So I see some kind of friendship, but I feel there's something going to end. There's a bit of a power struggle. Yeah, you're looking into the future. You're making plans. Uh, there's definitely someone you're going to turn your back on. You don't see a future. And it could be to just do with money. Like I said, something you're creating, something you're building. Uh, you want to make plans. You're going to be practical, sensible, sensible and realistic and look at things very carefully, sort of ground yourself before you decide to end something. Uh, it, I, it looks like a job, taking a leap of faith, but reflecting on the past first before you move forward. I, it's almost like you're gonna go back to something, maybe you're starting something that you, uh, re um, starting something that didn't work out in the past, maybe seeing that it could work now as well, I can see that. Death. What is this ending, this transformation? Yeah, so you're trying to figure something out here. You're trying to figure things out. You're working with facts and figures. It's all about the money. What's going to work best, the future? So you're definitely planning something, and you want to make sure it works. So you're trying to figure something out. Uh, and this is also an energy and looking at something. If it can't be fixed, it can't be fixed. Leave it behind and move towards something that does work. Reflect on the past, the things you've learned. So I feel like you're going through something here to do with this, that soul searching, uh, looking for some kind of answers of things that you're holding on to. Maybe you're holding on to something that's uh, not paying off. I feel like you're okay money-wise. You have everything you need, uh, but you're preparing for the future. So it looks like you're trying to find a better job or you're trying to create something or revisit something, bring it back to life, but you may decide to avoid a disaster. Yeah, you definitely are trying to figure out how to have success. Uh, you may be getting a lot of attention. Maybe if you're creating something, people are coming forward and they're wanting a piece of the action. Uh, but I feel as though it's sort of an energy of something not working, moving towards something that does. I do feel like there's abundance coming towards you, but you may need to sort of reflect on something. I feel like you're thinking of taking a leap with something that you started in the past and doing it again. Maybe kind of reinventing it, possibly. It's sort of reinventing the wheel, okay? So I feel like you're going to be very grounded. You're going to kind of take your time, yeah. You're going to be very wise. You're going to think about this very clearly. You're going to uh, take your time. Uh, I do feel like you're up in your head quite a lot here. So it's saying to just kind of pull back. Uh, you're a little bit stuck. You're holding on to money. You're trying to save for something or you're thinking you should save for the future because there's something that may end. Maybe something you're creating may not work out. So you're preparing yourself. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're invested in whatever you're invested in is going to pay off. Uh, you want to have that success. So you're thinking here, you want to make sure win or lose, you're going to have success or something here you don't want to give up on. So you might be trying to make a decision. So that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see where this is going to go, Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, what are you doing? What is the outcome of this situation? Yeah, you want the truth and the clarity. You're uh, getting up in your head. I feel like you're about to make a decision. You want success. You're trying to figure something out. You Don't try to fix something that's broken is basically what it's saying. Learn from the mistakes of the past and move forward. Uh, I do feel like you'll gain that clarity. Yeah, you may have a little bit of fear as you're looking at the details. This is about intentions. Okay, there's some more things that you may need to discover. Don't go into that dark energy, all right, into the labyrinth be conscious of that negative energy some of you may have something that's going to work and you feel like it's not you may be a little bit worried a little bit stressed out okay a little bit of conflict you're not so sure you're trusting your decisions right now so take some time all right to have a look at what brings you the abundance and uh, i do see a little bit of fear worry there's that conflict inner conflict now, you may have conflict at work. You may be afraid for the future. So don't think negative. Think positive, okay? Get out of your head. 
So that's what it's saying. Don't think negative. Just if something isn't working, don't fix it. Move forward to something better that will bring you success. Set yourself free. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like it's this win or lose. You're not wanting to give up. You're focused on the money. You're focused on the future. Uh, something has to end. So this is something that may be kind of on and off as well. Money, maybe money's been that way with something and you're thinking of letting it go. So take a little bit of time before you make a decision. Get out of your head. Uh, take a look into the past. Reflect on it before you take that leap forward. But I think you're off on a new path with something. Um, but I don't think you're really much into taking a risk right now. Yeah, it has to do with something very creative. This is uh, teamwork, cooperation, compromise, keeping that flow of abundance, going off on a new path, starting something, uh, building something. You may have friends that want to build something with you. You're not so sure, okay? Uh, if that'll work, there's that little bit of a, you're worried about a power struggle possibly. Okay, but this could be you maybe going off on that path, doing things by yourself because you may be, you know, wanting to have this success. Watch your ego that it doesn't get in the way. All right, be a little bit cautious of that. All right, Virgo, it looks pretty good. It looks like you're just having this inner struggle and you're thinking a lot of negative things, but it could be just worry and stress, okay, uh, to do with something that you're creating, that you want that you enjoy the fruits of your labors. I think you're going to be fine. I think you're being a little bit of a worry wart. Uh, you're in your head. You definitely don't want to get trapped into something. It could be an agreement. Uh, you may need a contract with somebody because you maybe feel that they don't have enough money or they may not produce what you need. Uh, it all depends on your situation. So I wish you the best in this. It looks like you're going off on a new path, uh, building something here, something creative that's going to build. And you win or lose, you're, you're aiming towards success. You're very focused on this right now. Take care. I wish you the best. Bye for now.